Born into abject poverty in rural Wisconsin in 1868, from the age of five on he was raised in rural Minnesota, attending a one-room schoolhouse until he was 12. At that age he scraped together a dollar twenty-five, built his own camera, and began learning the medium. Between 1900 and 1930 he created the North American Indian Project, the most extensive and expensive photographic project ever undertaken, which was hailed as the finest set of books since the King James Bible. Attempting the impossible and in the process nearly achieving it, he sacrificed his livelihood, his financial security, his marriage, and ultimately his physical and emotional well-being. These are some of the processes of Edward Sheriff Curtis' North American Indian Project. I 
Printed pretty good. The pressure's pretty good. Like I said, I've got there's something on the plate that's like a piece of tape or something that needs to get cleaned off because it's there in the corner. But other than that, it, it didn't it didn't do too bad. Although Curtis used the collodion wet plate process, which required a dark room and chemicals in the field, advancements in photography, collodion gave way to a new dry plate process, an optical glass coated with an emulsion that could be shot and processed at a later date. Potassium bromide, potassium iodine, Photographic gelatin and silver nitrate were mixed under a red safe light. Later, chrome alum was added as a hardener. Thymol was added as a preservative. 98% grain alcohol was added to the emulsion to ensure a more even flow of the emulsion over the optical glass. Edward Sheriff Curtis produced between 40 and 50,000 cyanotype images. Cyanotype is a photographic printing process that produces a cyan blue print. In a typical procedure, equal volumes of an 8.1% solution of potassium ferric cyanide and a 20% solution of ferric ammonium citrate are mixed under subdued light. Once mixed, paper can be coated with the solution, dried. Once dried, a negative can be placed on the paper, sandwiched between two pieces of glass and placed in the UV rays, sunlight, or a UV box. Once the proper exposure has been achieved, these papers can be pulled, rinsed in water, and dried to produce a cyan blue or Persian blue image.